Good morning. So why is it so easy to gain the weight, but so hard to then lose the weight? Now, I want to touch on this in terms of a, a sciencey way, because then we can see, okay, that makes more sense now. So it will seem like that. And that's mainly because if you consider that there's 3,500 calories, 3,500 calories in one pound of body fat, okay, not weight, body fat. So if you wanted to lose a pound per week, you would need to be in a deficit, that's a pound of body fat, that is, of 3,500 calories over the week, which is on average 500 calories a day. Now, let's say I'm not, that's what I'm, I'm on at the moment, and then I eat out at a meal. Now, it's pretty easy to eat 1,500 calories, 2,000 calories at a meal out, right? Um, more on that another day, but, you know, is that right? Should we have to eat that much? Um, you know, given all the talk about climate, our food footprint, if you like. Anyway, is it, is it, are you more of the person who says, you know, we only eat out now and then, we should just enjoy it? Where are you at with that? Anyway. Let's say I eat out, I have 1,500 calories like I did Friday, like I will do this Friday as well, um, on average. Now, say I'm on, I normally lose a pound a week, now I'm only going to lose half a pound a week, providing I go back to it. Because instead of being 3,500 calories in a deficit, you can take away, I've over it by 1,500, so now that's about 2,000 in a deficit. So that'll be about half a pound on average. Obviously that's body fat, so there's lots of fluctuations in weight anyway. But the day after that meal, I might put on three pounds. Now, I'm still on course to lose a half a pound a week, but I might gain like two, three pounds. Like if I weigh myself first thing in the morning. Why? Well, I ate later than normal. So the food's still in my gut. It takes quite a while. Um, <clears throat> I ate more than normal. So there's more food in the gut at that time. So I weigh more. Maybe I had more fluid later in the night. Maybe I slept for a lower amount of time as well. All these variables then come into it. So we seemingly put on weight in the morning, but actually the issue is more our reaction to it. Oh, I've just put on two pounds or whatever. I've just undone my results. And that can then cause us to go, oh, sod this, I'll start again Monday. Then it's a vicious cycle. However, if we can just stop there and get back to it, that's the key. But also consider how easy it is to overeat by 1,500, 2,000 calories Meal out, could be way more than that. Meal out, social event, drinks, compared to how hard it is to under eat by 1,500, 2,000 calories. Like, under eating by 1,500, 2,000 calories is pretty hard. You probably, to an extent, need to be ill, to an extent. Like, maybe a, a virus, a stomach bug. Like, it's rare that someone under eats by 2,000 calories um, in a day. Like, you know, there's low calorie diet, etc., but they probably do it fasting intermitt intermittently as well. Morning, Bev. So I hope that helps and shines a bit of light on that. Any questions on that, let me know. Um, and I hope that makes sense for you. Um, <clears throat> as ever, any questions, just reach out. Have an awesome day. About to start our morning sessions. Um, Marlborough, Chippenham, Devizes, and I'll see you soon.